Welcome back, folks, to my final instalment on the entire MBC, the Moreton Bay Cycleway. Up on the screen, I'm showing you the entire route that I've ridden across four days, going from Talburton Point at Redland Bay all the way up to Bribey Island for the finish. Now, this is the entire route, and something that I've been saying that is incorrect all along through this series is that this is a 150 kilometer stretch of cycleway. Now, that is incorrect. My tracking shows that this entire route was approximately 200 kilometers long from end to end. So I'll be uploading this probably to my Wikilocks site. So if you're interested in seeing this whole route, if you're researching this, that might be the area to check out. So let's take a closer look at today's adventure, shall we? Now, if you remember on my last video, I put up the entire route that I rode in one day, which was 85 kilometers in its entirety. That was starting at the Hornybrook Bridge, which is in Brighton and going all along right through Morayfield, Caboolture, Beachmere and all the way through to Bribey Island. Now I cut that video in half. When we last finished, we were over here at Burpingary Tavern. Now this is the Bruce Highway. Everyone knows Brucey boy. On our journey today, and I'll see if I can get a better view of this, shall I? We are going to be taking it up from the highway. We are gonna be starting by going up northbound. We go underneath the Bruce Highway, and that goes underneath some underpasses here, and it really is a great section to see all the infrastructure, what's holding up these major highways here, and we're gonna to go to Moray Field Road. Now, let me just show you something here, because this was a section of the NBC that really I didn't know anything about. Every bit of information seems to show that there is a missing chunk of the NBC, and that is indeed correct. You see, all along the Scarborough, Redcliffe Peninsula, all along here, there is a great cycleway to ride, but then it all comes to an end when we come out to Deception Bay. So from Bancroft Park, all this stretch over here, there is no more MBC. It kind of comes to nothing. But the challenge is to get from this end of the Bruce Highway right here, all the way to this end of the Bruce Highway where you have to cross over. Now this is the route that I took. There may be some alternative options here. You know, you can go up over here, but ultimately there is no way you can ride your bike all along this section. Maybe you can come to here, but there is a section here you just cannot cross over the Caboolture River right here. Now, this is a major, major river, and you cannot go by bike here. Simple as that, unless if you are a motorbike, right? So we have to ride all this way around here until we finally get across the Bruce Highway up here. Now let me just say something about this. If you're thinking about tackling this, this is pretty important information. I chose to come to this part of Bribey Island Road, and I hung a right here at Beachmere Road. Now I'll just say something about this first. I went down this road because I wanted to check out Beachmere, and that's a really nice, you know, small, quiet town. That's what it seemed like, sort of a holiday area. Really, really nice. But there is no cycleway. There is no proper bikeway. This is road riding. In fact, going down this way, there were two sections that were doing major roadworks. The road was totally cut through. I found a way to get past those roadworks. You just simply can't go through there. I had to actually go through some farming paddocks. So if you're the farmer that owns that land, uh, I'm sorry I had to use your property. It was mud city, but I had no alternative. I wasn't gonna be riding 15 kilometers back just because of some roadworks. So I made it through to Beachmead. Very, very interesting stretch. I think you'll enjoy this part of the video and where I come to here. But I do wanna say this, this is the important part. This stretch from here, there are signs that I've read that this is the MBC and it goes all the way through here to Ningi. I went down this way and I'm kinda of glad that I did because it wasn't until on my way back from Bribey Island and we are driving all the way back Bribey Island Road and I can confirm to you, there is no safe passageway or MBC way on Bribey Island Road. In fact, I would much rather ride this way where it's sort of like, you know, just a country road, then go here. The speed limit on this road, Bribey Island Road, is about 90 kilometers, and you do not want to be riding any bicycle on a road that's 90 kilometers. It's dangerous. There is no safe passageway that you know will make it feel safe for you upon this road. I was looking very closely to sort of see if there was any bikeways 
and that kind of stuff. Some parts, it kind of it stretches out a little bit wider, but then it actually tightens up again and it actually does feel very dangerous. So that's my advice to you if you're considering the MBC. Uh, I personally would not be riding down there if you value your life. So I went down that way and up through Beachmere and I ended up coming through to Ningi. Now when you get to this part, here you do have safe passageway to ride your bicycle and make it all the way through. Now down at Bribey Island when we finally get to the bridge, that was actually a highlight. And I'll try to zoom in a better angle if I can. This bridge, I don't know the exact length, it feels like about one or one and a half kilometers. It's very, very long. It's pretty cool, but pretty dangerous at the same time. You'll see when we get to the video, there is such a thin segment there for cyclists and walkers to walk across. It is so narrow. Thankfully, they've got these little sections here that allow you to go on the side because this is one person only. And when I say one person, I mean one person. If someone's coming the other way, don't even think you're gonna be riding and crossing each other. Someone's gotta go in these little bays. That's just life, mate. But actually, it is really, really cool to sort of see that whole bridge. By the time I came through to Bribey Island, my original plan was actually to finish at a section called Burum, but that was probably another, I don't know, 10 or 15 kilometers there, and I just ran out of puff. This stretch today, all the way from Burpengary up to Bribey Island was 44 kilometers of goodness, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for sticking with me on this series. Give the video a thumbs up, I really would appreciate that, and leave a comment if you've enjoyed this series and are thinking about tackling the NBC yourself. Anyways, let's get into the video. Have a good one. All right, and here's the Bruce Highway. So I now need to hang a right. A right at the bottom Turn shop. Right onto Bruce Highway Eastern Service Road. In 500 meters, turn right. 500 meters, I turn right and go over that overpass, I think. All right. I'm going under the Bruce Highway. Oh wow. Hey, this is pretty cool. Let's just stop here for a second. I love uh, underpasses, under bridges. Just to see the piers, the structures that hold these main roads up and the creeks that they are built over. Oh, there's another bridge. Yay! Sharp left towards Moray Field Road, then continue onto Moray Field Road. Okay, G-Girl, you tell me where to go. There's a shopping centre over there called Tower Shopping Centre. And just behind me, is the creek. We just went under the underpass and that's called Burpengary Creek. All right. Look at that old building. This is just on the service road leading up to Moray Field. All right, there's a big massive roundabout here. Turn left onto Moray Field Road, State Route 60. Yep, I need to get on past. Aquatic Centre Drive. Hey, this road actually has a really nice wide cycleway to ride. That's, uh, that's really good. It affords quite a lot of safety, you know, compared to where I was simply riding just before up to, you know, Rothwell and, and uh, just past there where there was nothing. This is great. This is fantastic to have something to ride on. It says this is the Moreton Bay Central Sports Complex. So that's off to my right. I can see like a big building over there. It's got red rooster advertising. <laughs> Man, I feel like some chicken now. I had to take a little detour. Here we go. Back on the road again. Moray Field, yay. Now this is all back street riding now. Up until I can pass over the Bruce Highway once again and get onto the main drag out to the eastern coastline. And you got Moray East State School. Turn left onto Glenwood Drive. 
never thought I'd be riding my bike at Moray Field. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of cars here. Oh yeah, Moray Field train station. Yep. There she is. In 300 metres, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Morayfield Road, State Route 60. We're going to make a right turn down here towards Kabucha. field. I'm going to go all the way up to Kabucha. Can't believe I'm going to go to Kabucha. Jeez. Moray Field Shopping Centre. Yeah. And there's the bus station right here to my right. Oh, HJ's. KFC on the other side. And Macca's straight ahead. Oh, my mouth is watering. I've got to stay strong. Stay strong, Johnny. Over there in the distance is an island. Ibis Island. Turn right onto King Street. It's just full of them. I can see them like crazy. <laughs> Look at this, this must have all been flooded over. Look at all the debris up against the fence and the fence is all wrecked. Wow, that must have been something. This river must have really just swollen like crazy. Check them out. Ibis Island. I'm on a road called Lower King Street. This is at Kabulcha, I just sort of rode past the 7-Eleven. And uh, not too far now will be the Bruce Highway. Get on over that, and then keep powering on. What else am I gonna do? Pretty much, this is just the bikeway here. In 600 meters, I don't like right it, to Beach Road. but it is what it is. This is more like it. I thought for a second I would have to be up on the, uh, the main drag. Instead, it's got a bit of a corridor here, which is great. Gravy Island. So going down Beachmere Road now, and uh, I think it says about nine kilometers to get to Beachmere. Oh, let's do it. Starting to feel it. They're doing some roadworks on Beachmere Road. Beachmere. All right, got to go through some farming paddocks. Beachmere Road is closed. They've dug a hole right through it. And so just finding some way around. It's all mud city here. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's a very long overgrown grass, muddy way. But hey, I can see a bit of a track from the hiking cows. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't know if this was a good idea or a bad idea. It's Mud City, but we'll get back up on the road.
All right, just about past. Okay, let's keep going, sheesh, oh man, my legs are covered in mud. Hey, there's a memorial cross right there. So yeah, I probably should have listened to the signs back at the uh, Bruce Highway said Beachmere Road closed. I said no way mate, not for a mountain biker. And then I came up to two sections where they literally dug out the whole road. I was talking to the road workers. They go, mate, no way. Yeah, there's no way you can get past. And I said, I'm on the mountain bike. They go, no, no way, mate. And I go, there's farming paddocks. And they go, oh, go for it. <laughs> Lock in your hubs. Yeah, the problem was it was mud city. Anyways, I'm getting there slowly but surely. King John Creek, you got that right, brother bit smelly here. Holy dooly, they got a school here. The Borelli Steiner School. Jeez, it's got such a rural country feel to it. I didn't expect that there'd be a school right here. And welcome to Beachmere. They've got an IGA here at Beachmere. It's pretty cool. I need to find me some kind of a park. I need to refill on water. And I don't want to do it in the toilets at the IGA. It's like a little memorial park. I need to find me some water. By Jove, here we go. Is this drinkable? Good enough for me. I am flat dry in this one. All right, I'm all uh, rehydrated. Yeah, it's good finding that little park here. Whew. All right, let's finish this. It says I've got about an hour left to get to Bribey. Just want to see what's at the end here. Here's a nice head point. All right, so it's low tide. You can see the peninsula all the way out at uh, Scarborough down there. All right, we want to get out to Bribie down there. Let's go. Okay, I've got about 20 kilometers left. I'm not showing you too much of Beachmere here. I mean, it's a, it's a pleasant town. It looks like a, um, a great place to get away and have a little holiday. But I want to push on to my end goal. I'm starting to feel it now. So I want to just uh, get this up and finished. Uh, 65 kilometers I've done all up, 65 kilometers. And the time is 12.39. Okay, let's get this done. What's this rubbish on the road? A printer, two printers, wow. Beachmere Conservation Park. I'd love to ride through that, but it'll slow me down. I ain't got the energy. Right. Hill Road to Bribey Island Road. All right. We're coming slowly to the main drag. So I just have to be careful on this stretch. There's a few cars driving up and down. This road is called Fauna Way. So getting closer to Bribey Island Road, there's a, you know, sort of small acreages out here. It's quite nice. Very nice area. Coming up to Bribey Island Road. All right, here we go. Bribey Road Butchery. <laughs> this is it says I've got about 10 k's, 10 kilometers from here. 
The time is 1.05 and I've just done 74 kilometers, 74 k's. 10 k's left, let's do it. Hey, there's a 7-Eleven here. I really should stop and get something, but I've only got about 8 k's. I really want to push on. I really want a Slurpee too. And I want to wash my bike as well from that mud. This road is called Best Man Road. All right, just got six Ks left. Whew. Looking forward to the finish. Some kind of art and craft studio here and a public park, okay. So getting closer and closer to Bribey Island Bridge and there's a real nice parkland here just on the left hand side of Bribey Island Road on the back streets. It's really beautiful. You see all these private jetties, they're all broken and abandoned but still beautiful in their own right. So this is the NBC, it still continues here. It gives you a safe passage from the main road. So yeah, we're probably about three kilometers out from the bridge now. Silver Shores Village coming up. Silver Shores Village. Coming past the marina now. Getting closer. All right, and our bikeway continues up here on the road. All right, welcome to Bribey Island, yeah. Woo. All right, Pumice Stone Passage. This is a very narrow bikeway. What the heck? Oh geez, this is crazy, man. Mate, one slip up here. And your handlebars will hit the railing. So they've got these little bays in here just to allow people to pass one another. Like this gentleman up ahead is waiting for me. That's pretty cool. Thanks mate. Hey, this is quite a long bridge. I would guesstimate about one kilometer long. All right, here we go. We've made it across the bridge. That is one narrow bridge, jeez. Looky there. It says this bridge was built in 1963. And we've come to the end. And my wife is here, set up a bit of a picnic with the Ibis. Hello. You got your Ibis friend here. I'll just catch a few more of the sights. It's uh, 84 kilometers. The time at the moment is 1.44 p.m. That's a, it's quite a journey. 84 k's. Yeah, I know, I was thinking to go to the other side of Bribie, but I've run out of puff. I'll just go up to the end there and uh, we'll capture a few more sights of the bridge and then that'll be us. I like this.
I don't like the going uphill part though. All right, so that's the end of the ride, peeps. This is Bribey Island. I would have loved to have uh, ridden over to the other side. I've run out of puff. <laughs> 84 kilometers. It took me about four and a half hours, this one, to get here all the way from um, Hornybrook Bridge. It's a bigger mileage. That's, that's a lot of mileage. This bridge right here, man, it's a dangerous bridge to ride over with your bike. One clip of your handlebars, especially if you've got wide handlebars like this. Mate, you are gone. Anyways, let's have a cup of coffee and uh, whatnot and chill out a little bit with the missus. Thankfully, I've got a ride back home. Woo!